Hey everyone, I'm Jacqueline Adios, and in this video I'll be talking about the expectancy violations theory. So, the expectancy violations theory tries to explain the consequences of nonverbal communication on behavior. But what does that mean exactly? Well, the theory, which I'll refer to as EBT, defines personal space as an invisible element in interpersonal communication, which basically means we all have an expectation on nonverbal behavior with other people. But if someone violates your expectations, it could make you uncomfortable or create a positive or negative reaction. Then it's called an expectancy violation. So this is when an individual has a preferred distance surrounding others. This distance or space is also dependent on the cultural norms and personal preferences of a person. This is not an interpretive theory. Um, instead, it's an objective meta theory. Uh, the original theorist, uh, June Burgoon, a communications professor at the University of Arizona, first introduced EVT. Um, a few decades before Burgoon discovered EVT, an anthropologist from the, from the Illinois Institute of Technology, Edward Hall, pitched the idea of proxemics that studied an individual's use of personal space, which we will get back to later in the presentation. Expectancy is what an individual predicts what will happen during an interaction, rather than what they desire. Burgoon also says that each culture has different expectancy boundaries and structures that are expected with personal space. Violation valence is also a key component in this theory. Burgoon said, the violation valence refers to the positive or negative value we place on a specific unexpected behavior, regardless of who does it. This eventually leads to communication reward valence which is the reaction an individual has to the unexpected behavior, whether if it is a positive or negative reaction. EVT also assumes that we already have attitudes about expected nonverbal behaviors. When we evaluate and interpret these behaviors, then that's when we accept or disapprove of that violation. Uh, so back to proxemics. Uh, remember, proxemics is a study of a person's use of space. Edward Hall claimed there were four proxemic levels, intimate, personal, social, and public, as you can see on the graph. EVT states that each person has an expectation of personal and conversational space. As humans, we have desires for close proximity, but we also desire space and distance. Okay, so a real life example. Danette Johnson and Nicole Lewis wrote a journal called Perceptions of Swearing in the Work Setting, an Expectancy Violations Theory Perspective, in which a study was conducted to understand people's reactions to swearing messages in the workplace. The study was conducted because there's not enough research on how people react to swearing messages in a formal environment. Um, they use the EVT because of how they can analyze whether someone has a positive or negative expectancy violation. And I think we've all experienced or worked at one point where we, um, how we can react to swearing in, in a formal environment. So that's why I use this, um, this journal. So this study found that people have an unexpected reaction to swearing messages in any sort of formal gathering. This could be at the workplace or in social gatherings. Hearers, people who heard swearing, were much more likely to react to more aggressive swearing messages like fuck off or um, compared to, um, oh shit, or that sucks. The study concluded that hearers were simply surprised at the swearing expressions and created evaluations of the speakers, which is an expectancy violation. So finally, EVT is in every social interaction we have, when we're with friends, family, at work, or with a partner. For each, we have certain expectations of nonverbal behavior. EBT simply helps us understand people's desired space and reactions. Can you think of a time when your expectations were violated? What was your reaction? Thanks everyone and I hope you enjoyed this presentation.